Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video it's really to um, complement uh, the videos uh, video 18 and 20 which I already covered uh, on the subject how to uh, save your MT4 Forex chart to a template and when there is a problem with your MT4 terminal and you find that you can't do anything with it well, this is like um, another video actually, just to complement that, because I didn't actually have the actual um, situation uh, when I recorded that, that video. I just basically actually talked about it, but now I've got um, the problem uh, on my terminal, now I can actually show you actually on the screen. Now, if you have watched um, those other videos I've done, um, you know, covering this subject, then um, you would have actually saved uh, the data folder, uh, which in general that's all you need to do actually is to paste the data folder back onto here. But this is a typical example here uh, that uh, when you um, relaunch your MT4 and you've got this blank space and nothing happens, f for some reason your chart had disappeared. Let me just zoom in and then you go to, you go to your chart here and then you try to drag um, you know one of the currency charts onto the blank space here let's do any let's do this one the USA and the Japanese yen just drag it over right and nothing happens except that you've got this message right all right you can drag another one, another one over try, you might try another one you you're getting a bit frustrated because it just do not work and you keep getting this um, message saying that, that there's a problem here now normally you can go to your data folder you know just go to here file and then data folder and then you would normally if you had done a copy of this uh, Data, uh, data folder here with the configuration on all of these uh, which I mentioned that you should actually copy as a backup then you simply bring the copies back here and just paste it back on here and normally that would actually um, you know recover that would actually recover the all your system uh, because of the configuration there's, there's something something has gone wrong with the configuration Now this is the copy that I've done previously. Um, like I t uh, like I mentioned in the uh, uh, video uh, before, uh, I think it's it's eight, 18 and 20. Now all you have to do is bring this folder back and then just highlight that and highlight th that and then just copy. Now go back to here. Open the data folder. And then just paste it here. Right, just wait for it to finish. It will ask you a question, right? Because you're replacing the files, right? Just click here, replace the files in that uh, destination or that directory, right? Just click here. Right, 
but as you can see the highlight here is that we've uh, replaced those files close that down we can't we can't do anything yet with this we need to relaunch the terminal right I've just relaunched the terminal and as you can as you can see it's still a blank space that's that's okay now we need to now test this out to see if our transfer has been successful so go to your marketplace and then drag uh, um, a chart over just like what we've done and what we did earlier and there's still problems right after you have pa pasted the uh, folders and it still doesn't work before you attempt to reinstall the uh, complete MT4 you need to try this as a last resort uh, go to files and then look for the um, profile and if you go to default it should launch your default settings and after that your uh, MT4 should be working properly Let me just... right if you're finding that your platform is running slow it could be that your computer is uh, full of uh, junk files in, in order for you to get rid of all the junk files and temporary, fo and temporary files you need to go to here to start and go to run and as you can see I've already got one that's set up here we'll, we'll do this one first the prefetch so that's prefetch and OK and as you can see there's quite a lot of uh, file that's been prefetched by the computer just scroll down Let's have a look. Highlight here, right, right left click. Oops, sorry, let's start again. Left click, scroll down, and then hold your shift key, and then left click again, right click, right key, and then delete. Some files cannot be deleted because it's been used, so skip that one. Right, next one. That's the prefetch one. The next one, again, go to start, right click, run. Now we need to type in temp, T E M P. OK, and I've not got a lot of temporary fo folders here because I really actually cleaned it, um, well yesterday actually, so do the same and delete it. OK, that's the temp, close that down and then the last thing you should do, same thing, start mouse is not working start right click run now this time we're doing the, the temp as well but we're going to put the percentage in front of it tell you what let's let's clear that and do it properly we'll do the percentage temp and then and then percentage again okay and then OK that and then we do exactly the same here and get rid of all these
right click and then delete skip that one that file because it's been used skip oh might as well so do it to all of them skip so that's that now after that just restart your computer and um, your computer should be running much much faster okay so I hope you've enjoyed this little hint and I'll see you in the next video Cheers.